Hello, what brings you in for today? Oh, I experienced uh, difficult breathing this morning. Uh, I'm just here to uh, get a checkup. Hmm. Okay, so we're just going to begin with a thoracic CT, okay? So just follow me. Sure. Uh, lie down, please, with the head over there. Sure. On your back. Do you need help? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh. Alright, just lie still. We're just going to begin right now. Hey, baby! Go, mommy! Okay, so just hold still, and I'm gonna go begin the examination. Stop! This lady here is 10 months pregnant, and you forgot to put on the light shielding on her stomach. With a dose of more than 100 milligrams to the fetus, the baby will probably experience a reduced IQ or other possible malformation when she's born, or he. Um, and with a dose of more than 1000 milligrams, uh, the baby will, re will probably experience severe mental retardation. Oh, I'm sorry, doctor. I'll never make this mistake again. You better not. Okay. Was the radiologist correct? The radiologist was right in that above the 100 milligram threshold, the baby will be at risk of developing mental retardation. However, a single chest CT scan is unable to achieve this amount of dose because a typical CT chest scan only gives about 7.8 milligram, and since the pelvis will not be in the scanning field, the uterus will only receive about 0.06 milligram on average, which is far from the threshold the radiologist just mentioned. Even if the patient went through a routine pelvis CT, the dose to her uterus will only be about 26 mg. However, we must remember that there is no radiation threshold of developing cancer. Thus, if the scans were done without proper shielding, the baby would have a higher probability of developing cancer, especially leukemia, in the child's future.